is absolutely no doubt. The conflict because of North Korea's nuclear weapons is currently one of the most important issues regarding international peace. The point case is clear. The Democratic People's Republic of North Korea aims to become a nuclear power. In 1989, North Korea lost the financial and economic support it had from the former Soviet Union and now felt vulnerable for attacks. However, they decided to pursue their goals in order to show the world they are powerful, have strength and have a strong defense. Meanwhile, the Republic of Korea, also known as South Korea, was becoming stronger and its economy has prospered. To resist any possible attacks from South Korea, sticking on to the Cold War ideology, North Korea decided to develop nuclear capabilities as they believed it would protect them and would portray their power to the world. Realizing this issue, the model United Nations Society at the Erzbischöfliche Südwärtus Gymnasium chose the topic for the first conference, North Korea's nuclear weapons as a threat for international peace. North Korea is a communist regime and after Kim Jong-il, the former North Korean leader, now his son, Kim Jong-un, controls the country. The already quite unstable situation because of the invisible structures of power became worse under his rule. Many important but unknown background characters make it difficult to react on the provocations properly and make the regime itself almost unreachable. As a consequence of this recent development, there are not many sanctions left. Neither the sanctions forbidding the import of luxury and military goods, nor the travel bans for Korean diplomats or inspections of North Korean ships in western harbors have changed anything. this year 2013 represents the perfect opportunity uh, yeah, to look at my future plans as they are studying law um, in focus of international law and so um, I think that the Moon experience uh, and that the Moon conference this year is for me the perfect opportunity to yeah, look uh, at the structures of the United Nations how they work and how they solve international problems. I think the benefits of Moon are that we deal with issues that concern the whole world and we build our own opinion about the topics we talk about. Um, we learn different ways how to debate and we improve our English knowledge. topic in every discussion, in every conference and debate and um, in this case human rights are more essential than ever because our concentration is going on North Korea and in our committee of human rights we can have a closer look to the situation in North Korea and how people, people that live like you and me, people that should have the same rights like you and me don't live in those circumstances and don't have the same chances in life. Yes, at the end, Modern United Nations is a game, but I'm sure that games are the best possibilities to be prepared for real situation, for the reality. So I participate in Moon 
uh, to, because I would like to get to know more about sequences or systems of debating. Furthermore, the topic of North Korea isn't a real issue with which the world has to deal. Well, MUN is a very good opportunity to learn new deba debating skills and improve your English. Uh, it's very good to um, get to know the international businesses, what will happen in the UN conference and how politics work. And that is what MUN is about. We want to raise political awareness, we want to raise economic awareness give you an opportunity to find and to develop your skills and we want you to discover new interests and abilities. Our generation will have to face much more complicated problems than today. We will have to have huge knowledge of the international issues.